this is my large power printer, and this is the biggest print I've ever done. So this is the wing for a plain print eagle, um, scaled at 150%, and um, it seems to be going quite well. I've got some some defects in the print. Um, I've got some loop banding here, which you might be able to see, and I think that's to do with the bat. I had a little bit to start with. I thought I cured it by tightening a pulley on the uh, radius axis, but it's now creaking on the back as well of the radius axis, so that's come back. Um, I don't know whether I can pause the printer to tighten those up because I can't get to the grub screws with the way the way they are when the pulley. So rather than look at the print, I've just left it. Um, I wasn't expecting it to get this far, to be honest. So um, yeah, that's really good. Um, like I say, it's the biggest print I've ever done. I think I'm over, it must be nearly 60 hours now in terms of print time. And it's still cracking on. A uh, couple of things that are worth pointing out. You may be able to see a bit of light around here on the on the bed. And that's where the print's not to come away from the masking tape. The bed's covered with a single piece of masking tape, but it's basically a large mirror. And um, it's the masking tape that's lifting away from the bed. So the masking tape's effectively like having a massive um, raft, not raft, um, brim over the entire bed. And then the brim that I've printed is that adhered that well to the masking tape that this masking tape has blown away. So that's been really secure and I'm really pleased with that. Um, so that went really well. Um, but as you can see, yeah, the print's going really well. Uh, you might have also seen on the back there's um, a clamp with uh, a weight on the back of the, the print. And that was to try and add some mass to damp out some of the oscillations, and actually that helped quite a bit, especially on the support I put on the back there, um, to stop it sort of moving left to right. So that's a printed support that's gone in there, um, and it's only attached at tiny little points, just to so it make it easy to remove the support uh, later. Uh, that's something I designed purposely for it. Uh, so as you can see, the printer is going really well now. Um, there's still some tidying up to do, uh, my filament monitor that you can see, you might be able to see around the back, um, the one that I, custom one that I did for myself, actually it's up here, this rotary encoder doesn't work properly at the moment, so I've got just a switch underneath, um, and the, it's about 1.1 kilos of filament, so I definitely had to do a, a switch, but I have part roll, so it got switched down here, and then it's uh, been running on one single roll um, for the rest of the time. So I'm hoping that it will finish, fingers crossed. Um, things to do, a uh, part cooling fan that I've got on there is just a gentle breeze, I guess it helps, but I've got some better turbo fans to, to actually um, put a lot more air in. Uh, so for bridging I can go to 100% and probably for normal park cooling it would be about 50% on the fan. Uh, the other thing, the only thing that I've noticed with the controller on this print is that the um, web interface has dropped out. That used to happen a lot, it doesn't happen very often now. Um, but at least I've got the local controls here so I can pause the print and um, which I've had to do a little, a couple of times where I've gone in and just tweaked something um, that wasn't quite printing properly. Um, and then, but yeah, I'm really pleased. Uh, everything seems to be going quite well. I think I'm going to give the basically the Z axis and the extruder an overhaul before I do anything more. Um, but yeah, so I thought people might be interested. This is where I'm at with the printer. I'm almost to the point now where I'm happy that I can do these longer prints. And if I get the, the radius axis sorted out, I think the quality will be bob on. So I'm really pleased. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'm hoping to publish some more videos now that I've got to the point where uh, uh, personally I'm feeling a lot more happy with things, the way things are in my life. And, um, and the printer's working reliably and relatively robustly, he says. Um, hoping that this last inch of the print or so will get finished. Uh, so, thanks very much for watching, and um, hopefully see you again early next year. Okay, happy holidays. Cheers all. Bye.